the 38th and last book of the Ace Science Fiction Special Series 1, The Eclipse of Dawn by Gordon Eklund, 1971. The Eclipse of Dawn is Eklund's first novel. It paints a picture of a dystopic future from 1988. In this future, United States is war-torn. It is under quarantine from other nations, and it hasn't had a proper election since 1972. Some areas are uninhabitable due to the explosion of nuclear weapons. We start off in California. The White House, or seat of power, has now shifted from Washington, which had been destroyed. The old president, in his late 80s, is hiding in the West Coast White House. A challenger has arisen for an election. His name? Robert F. Collinby. He lives in a secure residence in the bombed-out area of Disneyland in Anaheim. Our story is told by a failed novelist named Jack Jacoby. He is following Colinby around the country as he campaigns. The goal is to create a biography. These travels expose the factors that were the downfall of the United States. They also show the foibles of the political class. From the East Coast, they head back by train, making whistle stops on the way back to California. It is a strange mix of the past and the future. Jacoby has a sister named Susan, who has visions of aliens on Jupiter. They are called the Octorians. There is a Japanese spaceship approaching Jupiter. Will it be able to confirm the existence of these aliens? In a weird turn, Colinby believes Susan and makes it part of his campaign. Much rides on first contact with the Octorians. Do they even exist? In this tortured future, they grasp the hope of a benevolent alien encounter. This strange, dark journey is reflected in Leo and Diane Dillon's last cover for the Ace Science Fiction Specials. Here we see an overall image of a face. You see the teeth at the bottom and the nose in the middle. The bridge of the nose has an image that must be Susan. Remember, she is seeing visions of aliens. To the right top corner, we have the pupil of the eye, but it also looks like perhaps it's the planet Jupiter, and those visions of aliens from there are beaming towards Susan. And then we have a character on the right side towards the middle. I was struck by how much this character reminded me of someone else in politics. This is a dark cover reflecting dark times. Eklund paints a disturbing picture of the future. Some of his observations of politics ring true to our time. When this novel was written, man had just walked on the moon. Can this vision of space exploration lift another election? Does a nation need a goal to strive for? Is there hope in the face of despair? This is a novel of scenes stitched together, world-building scenes. All characters are morally ambiguous. In a final meeting with the old president, we see what may be the future for this United States. The title, The Eclipse of Dawn, reminds me of the lyric, The Dawn's Early Light. This novel shows a stark eclipse of the light that was United States. I give this stark and bleak novel a 5 out of 10. Have you read The Eclipse of Dawn? How about other novels by Gordon Eklund? Are there other novels you would recommend in this dark, dystopic view of United States? What about some positive ones, ones that build towards a utopia? I'm curious to hear your recommendations. Until next time, keep reading.